Watch you guys, got another video here for you on how to monitor CPU and GPU temperatures on any computer. Now, yesterday I made a video about how you can do this, but people said it was too complicated. So I want to make a simpler video for you. Now, if your PC or laptop is running super hot, it's always good to monitor your temperatures and Windows as task manager, but it doesn't really give you enough information about your temperatures and what's going on with your PC. This is where we can use Open Hardware Monitor. Open Hardware Monitor is a great piece of software which you can use to monitor all of your temperatures and system information. And the good thing is you can set it to your taskbar and you can also set it to a little gadget on your desktop if you want to. So we're going to get this downloaded and then get it installed on the system and I'll show you how to do it. It's really super easy. And uh, a lot of people said that yesterday's video was a little bit too much uh, involved and too complicated, and they wanted to simplify it. So this is how you can simplify it. So we're going to unzip this and extract it to its own folder. And then basically what we're going to do here is double click on this and get it installed on the PC. So I'm going to double click here and we'll get this installed. There we go. Now we've got this up on the screen here. We can now make some changes to this to make sure that we get all the information we want from our system. So whether you want to check your CPU V core or you want to check all your temperatures and things like that, you can do. So let's go up to view here. You can show hidden sensors, uh, show pilot, and also show gadget and columns. You can see the columns here, value, minimum, and also maximum. So you can put the check mark in minimum here. So we've got the three up on the screen. That's good. And we've also got this one here, which gives you this little box here. Now you can have this uh, added to the actual uh, program here and I'll show you how to set that up as well. So first off, let's take a little look here what else we've got on the actual application. Under options, we've got uh, start uh, minimalized and we've also got some other bits here, which is the pilot location. I'm going to do this to uh, the bottom here or the right. Maybe we'll go to the right here and this will add it onto the actual program. So now we can show it and I'll just drag this out so you can see here. And this will give us a little graph here so you can see what's happening with your system temperatures and things like that. So let me just drag it out so we can expand this a little bit and we can see what we've got going on here. Now, you're not going to see anything at the moment, and that's because we haven't checkmarked any of these boxes. So next up, what you need to do is checkmark what you want to checkmark on your system. So if you're an overclocker, you might want to check your voltages and things like that. Maybe your fan speeds and also some other temperatures that you might want to check mark here. Fan control here as well. This gives you the information on the fan controls and you can check mark whatever you like on yours. So for instance, the clock speed on your CPU, you can either check mark the bus speed and check mark all of the cores if you want to. Uh, CPU packages, you can do this as well. If I check mark this, you will now see we do have a little graph on the side here and it will give you the value of minimum and maximum and it will give you the temperatures here. So CPU total is another one you can check mark and you can change all the colors for these. I'll show you that a little bit later on. And you can do this for all of the cores or just the CPU total, depending on what you want to check mark. CPU package is another one here. You can check mark this and this will give you the wattage that you're using and the uh, CPU cores. And you can also do a bunch of other stuff on there as well. There's an option for your memory here. So you can see what used memory and what's available and what the percentage is being used on your memory, especially for people that are running on low memory. You've got your graphics card settings here for your memory, shader, core, and you can also do the GPU temperatures here as well. And you can check out the load and other things on there as well. So your fans, you can have that check mark to see whether your GPU fans are kicking in uh, to keep your GPU cool. And again, we've got the other area down here as well for the uh, free memory, memory used and total in case you're gaming and you want to see whether it's maxing out your graphics card. You can check mark those inside the options area here. Just want to set this up a little bit here so we can get this to run on Windows startup. So we're going to check mark the Windows startup, go back into options and show minimalized and that's what I want to do as well so we don't see the program on the full screen as soon as we boot up. So that's now done and we've got the, the results here that we want to check. You can do 
more of these. I'm just going to show you here. So you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and get a closer look at the graph here if you want to. And uh, if you want to go back, you can double click on it and it will basically put it back to default settings. So you get full control of that as well, which is pretty nice. But the good thing about this program is you can add it to a gadget or you can add it and show it inside your tray. You can also change the color as well. So let me show in gadget and show in tray here so you can see exactly what this looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. And uh, what we'll do is we're going to show gadget and I'll drag this over. And there we have our first option. You need to add all of them into a gadget. So it won't just show everything there. You need to add each one you want to show in that gadget. So let's go through and add some of these to the gadget. And you can basically see what it looks like once it's all done. So very simple. You don't have to install any other sort of software. It's all here and you can just add it by just right clicking and showing gadget like so. And it will add that area to the gadget. So if you've got two monitors and you're gaming, you can have this on one monitor while you're gaming and you'll be able to keep tabs on your temperatures for your CPU and GPU and things like that. So pretty useful. So let's go ahead and add the rest of these in and we'll check the uh, tray out as well. So I'm just going to add a few more here. And I think I got a couple of comments uh, yesterday on yesterday's video saying it's pointless checking your temperatures and your system specs all the time uh, if your system is running perfectly fine. Well, how would you know? There could be a problem at any time. You could have a laptop that uh, runs pretty hot and maybe you're overclocking or whatever it is that you're doing. It's always good to keep an eye on your system temperatures and also your system information here and this is also essential for anyone that is gaming that wants to see if there's any dips in performance or any thermal throttling or anything like that so it is quite useful and uh, you can also rename uh, these items here as well which is quite nice which means you can give them a name which is more recognizable to yourself so for instance i've just called this one nvme and you can call the next one storage if you want to. So I can just check mark this one here, use space on my drive, showing gadget, and we can rename this and I'll call this one, say storage, which tidies it up a little bit and makes it more easier to understand what you're doing here. And you can see how much storage you've then got. You can also check the temperatures on there as well if you want to. So let's take a closer look now at the gadget. There we go. I've just selected a bunch of stuff here. And again, you can move this around the screen. So if you've got a couple of monitors, you may want to put this on another monitor while you're gaming so you can see it. And you can move it up to the corner here, or you can just basically leave it wherever you like. So I'm, let me just delete this. So pretty useful information. And that's basically how you can add stuff to a gadget on your desktop uh, using that program. Very simple and easy to do. Now, I did say that you can also add it to your uh, taskbar. And you can do that as well by right clicking on it and basically showing tray. And you can also change the color to make them a little bit brighter so you can see them if you want to. Now, if you're playing window mode, you'll be able to see your taskbar. And this can be particularly useful if you only have uh, one monitor. So you can have it in your taskbar and you can see it there while you're playing your game. So very simple and easy to set up. Let me show you what it looks like. So as you can see here, we now have it in a gadget and also we have it on our taskbar here and you can see it's in there so pretty useful to have that down there some people like to keep an eye on uh, their gpu and cpu temperatures and that's basically what you can do by just doing that simple tweak there very useful and easy to set up on windows 11 windows 10 or linux or any other version of windows as well so that is going to be about it for this video so i hope this one's a little bit more easy than yesterday's video I've made it because the other people were complaining about how difficult yesterday's was. Just want to say a special shout out to Welsh Tony One and also Geo Sam and also Albert Houston who have joined my tier three YouTube members group. I really do appreciate it. Now, if you have joined my YouTube members group, whether it be tier one, tier two or tier three, and you've joined my Discord server, make sure you let me know in the general chat area so I can give you the appropriate role so you can gain access uh, to the voice chat if you're 18 plus and have a microphone. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.